the eye of Horus or the eye of Providence is better known as the third eye. Scientists have proved its existence through the anatomy of the human brain. It is related to an endocrine organ inside the brain called the pineal gland. The human pineal gland is just like a seed. Normally, it is most active from birth to the age of seven. At this stage, the pineal gland leads other glands, such as the pituitary, the thyroid, the thymus, the adrenal glands, the pancreas, and the reproductive gland to integrate and balance the endocrine system to make sure our physiological functions work. After the organ system is fully developed at the age of seven, the pineal gland gradually degenerates. Well, I am not saying it will lose its function, but compared to the previous seven years, it does decline with age, as we can visibly tell from our skin condition. Kids younger than seven years old tend to have a great self-recovering capability. Their wounds heal fast and barely leave visible scars. Growing permanent teeth also has something to do with the pineal gland. It provides us the power we need to grow adult teeth at the age of 12 to 13. As we grow older, the body secretes less and less hormones, causing the physical energy and regenerative capacity to decline. How active the pineal gland is has a direct relation to all these. Now, let's not focus on the pineal gland only, but dig deeper. What is the eye of Horus? It is mentioned among the ancient Egyptian, Chinese, Indian, and Mayan cultures. The Bible in Western culture also says, the lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. By thine eye be single, it is not saying that a person should be blind in one eye. It means a human has another eye apart from this existing two. The eye of providence, also called the all-seeing eye. So how is it formed? It requires three sources of energy to merge. There are two channels of meridians that are bilaterally symmetrical throughout the body. The left channel represents yang, the light current that flows along. The left side of the spine is linked with the left eye. So the left eye symbolizes the sun. The right channel stands for yin. Through the right side of the spine, the light current connects with the right eye. That symbolizes the moon. When these two currents gather in the pineal gland, they get to link with the central channel. And there you go, the third eye. Actually, the eye of light should be the best way to call it. Speaking of which, there is no such thing as good or bad between the left and right channels. They are in fact compatible and complementary with each other. This explains why it's the other way around among ancient Egyptians. They believe that left eye was the moon, while the right eye was the sun. The pineal gland combines these streams of light from the sun and the moon. It's just like a light bulb when you attach it with both the positive and negative charges. 
it glows and shines. The pineal gland is more than just a conductor. Its core energy comes from the energy center of the astral body. The human light body is divided into three divisions, sky, man, and earth. Energies from these three divisions start together since the embryonic stage and are continuously absorbed during the period of growth. Energy of the sky division is the astral body, while that of man division is the mental body. The physical body is what we call energy of the earth division. The current of the left and right channels intertwine and merge with that of the central channel. These triangle shape represent a bridge to a three-dimensional space. Now the eye of light is awakened, so that thy whole body shall be full of light. The activated pineal gland bring us fresh energy again. The whole body here means the light body merged from the three divisions. Our spiritual body needs light as energy to transform and enhance the light body. Yet, no one can achieve it overnight. We need to make efforts on our bodies, minds, and spirits in terms of the body. Maintain a healthy lifestyle and eating habits. Live a regular life and work out more. Regarding the mind aspect, create an optimistic and positive outlook on life. Be eager to help others. Be kind-hearted as for the spirit. Make sure we understand the meaning of life and the principles of space science. The eye of light continues to glow when you master these key points. By doing these, you get more than a healthy body. Your career, family, and even luck will also change for the better. If more people activate their eye of light, we will have a more peaceful world there will be more harmonious societies. Family and friends will be full of love with each other. Humans should realize that our hatred and dissatisfaction bring disasters which have already affected the resonance frequency of the Earth. We must get to know things about space science and life before it's too late. In this episode, we have explored how the eye of Horus works and how it affects our lives. There will be more upcoming fascinating topics like these in the future. I'm Dr. PH. This is science, not religion. Time is ticking. Please share our videos to your family members and friends, and ask them to help spread the ideas. You can help more people. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.